Here we go again. Manchester United could use Mason Greenwood in a swap deal this summer to land a transfer target. The Red Devils have been linked with signing a new centre-back ahead of next season. Meanwhile, Greenwood's future remains unclear beyond the end of his loan spell with Getafe. A move to Juventus has now emerged as a possibility amid reported interest from the Italian giants. The Serie A side are even willing to include United target Gleison Bremer as part of the deal. According to Gazzetta dello Sport, Juventus believes Greenwood could become an opportunity. Greenwood is on the club's list of forward targets, and United's interest in Bremer boosts their chances of a deal. The Red Devils have moved ahead of other clubs targeting the Brazilian defender thanks to the possibility of a swap deal, the report adds. United would still have to pay a fee alongside including Greenwood to sign Bremer though. Bremer joined Juventus in 2022 and signed a contract extension through to 2028 in December. He has made 31 league appearances for the side sitting third in Serie A this season. Meanwhile, Greenwood has scored eight goals and provided five assists on loan at Getafe this term. Juventus's interest in the 22-year-old comes after Fabio Capello urged the Italians to sign Greenwood. He told Gazzetta dello Sport, I've heard about Greenwood, a Manchester United talent who has been affected by personal issues but seems reborn at Getafe. There are no doubts about his qualities. Barcelona have also been linked with a move throughout the season. Meanwhile, several Premier League clubs have reportedly shown an interest in a summer move for Greenwood. On the other side, Manchester United have joined Arsenal, Manchester City, and Liverpool in the bidding war for a Brazilian wonder kid. According to the Mail, United sent a scout to Brazil to watch Grêmio starlet Gustavo Nunes, 18, in action last week during the 2-0 loss to Huachipato in the Copa Libertadores. Gustavinho, as he has been nicknamed by fans, only made his senior debut in February, but quickly rose through the ranks after impressing manager Renato Gaucho. The winger came on as a half-time substitute, as he replaced Everton and showed his skills in front of the Red Devils' representative. New United shareholder Sir Jim Ratcliffe and Ineos are said to be prioritizing rising young talent from South America. That is because the Manchester Giants want to get more value for their money amid financial fair play restrictions. On the other side, Manchester United head into Sunday's Emirates FA Cup semi-final against Coventry City with a number of absentees, but potentially at least one player returning to the squad. Antony was ruled out of Saturday's 2-2 draw at Bournemouth due to injury, but was full of smiles when he was spotted by our cameras in Tuesday's training session at Carrington. The Brazilian joined Alejandro Garnacho, who was substituted at halftime in the South Coast Clash, in taking part in some passing drills as preparations continued for our Wembley trip. Despite the apparent return of our number 21, Eric Ten Hag will still have to deal with a lengthy injury list, given Victor Lindelof, Lisandro Martinez, Terrell Malasia, Anthony Martial, Luke Shaw, and Rafael Varane are already ruled out of Sunday's semi-final. Scott McTominay and Johnny Evans were both absent for the draw at Bournemouth, but Eric confirmed prior to that match that McTominay was pushing to be in the squad to face the Cherries. He also said that Evans's muscular injury is a shorter-term problem than fellow centre-back Varane's issue, but did not give a comeback date for the Northern Ireland International. The boss could provide a further update on the status of his squad when he conducts his pre-match press conference later this week. Academy players such as Harry Amass, Habib Oganai, and Ethan Wheatley have been named in matchday squads already this month, and all three were pictured in training with our senior players on Tuesday. Meanwhile, Manchester United's hopes of securing Champions League qualification for next season were all but ended on Saturday after they drew 2-2 with Bournemouth at the Vitality Stadium. Twice tasked with coming from behind, United, who were second best, earned a share of the spoils via a Bruno Fernandes brace. He lashed in a close-range volley for his first goal of the game before dispatching a coolly taken penalty to double his tally after the break. Despite that, United ended the weekend lower in the Premier League table than they started it albeit on goal difference. Newcastle United's 4-0 win over Tottenham Hotspur in Saturday's lunchtime kickoff means they now occupy sixth with, with six games left to play. 
it means United are now locked in a battle to secure qualification for either the Europa League or the Europa Conference League qualification. Qualification for either of those two competitions would represent a backward step. Nevertheless, focus now switches to this weekend's FA Cup semi-final against championship side Coventry City at Wembley. The FA Cup represents United's last hope of salvaging something from this season, again and again. Manchester United are reportedly still in the hunt to sign Stuttgart's Serho Guirassi. The 28-year-old was heavily linked with a move to Old Trafford during the January transfer window following an astonishing campaign in the Bundesliga. However, United were not in a position to spend this winter, and Girasi's stint at AFCON ensured he remained in Germany. Since returning to his domestic club, Girasi has continued to shine and has scored in his last six Bundesliga appearances, including a brace in the victory over Wolfsburg. The forward has 27 goals to his name this season, and according to Sport Build, United are ready to pounce in the summer. It is believed a 17 millions of pounds release clause remains active in Girassi's contract, but United will face a battle to complete a deal with West Ham, who are also thought to be keen. As one striker is pursued to move to Old Trafford, another is set to leave. Anthony Martial may not play for the Reds again after suffering a groin injury in January. The Frenchman's contract expires at the end of the campaign, and it is widely believed his deal will not be renewed. Surprisingly, one of United's Premier League rivals is reportedly interested in signing the forward. Tuttasport understands that Tottenham Hotspur are weighing up a move for the soon-to-be free agent to add to their options. It is claimed the North London club faces competition from Juventus for his signature, but the Turin club is more hesitant over an approach. Marshall has scored just twice in 19 appearances for the Reds this season. Meanwhile, Manchester United are set to offer Kabi Mainu a lucrative new deal with part owners Ineos, desperate to keep the youngster. The 18-year-old wonder kid has become a key man in Eric Ten Hag's squad this season. The Red Devils want Mainu to receive a salary increase, as they line him up as one of the faces of the new project under Sir Jim Ratcliffe and his Ineos team, according to transfer reporter Fabrizio Romano. Romano tweeted, Understand Manchester United are now pushing in talks to extend Kabi Mainu's contract by this summer after initial discussions in February. Ineos want Kabi to be one of the faces of the new project. New deal would see salary increase for Mainu plus several add-ons. The winger reportedly earns £20,000 per week, with that number set to triple once he signs a new deal at Old Trafford. Mainu has made 27 appearances for United this season in all competitions, and has scored three goals and made two assists. And he even earned his first England call-up this season during the recent international break, shining against Brazil and Belgium. Ineos is ready to continue the club's long-standing ethos of promoting youth talent. This now looks set to continue with Mainu, who has been with the club since the age of nine. Mainu is just one of the talented youngsters coming through the ranks at United. Others include Alejandro Garnacho, who is now a first-team regular, as well as young defender Willy Camboala, who started against Bournemouth on Saturday. Shea Lacey, 17, signed his first professional contract with the club on Monday.